Hey, bro. Hey, what's up, brother? Gosh. Just enjoying the morning and avoiding it all. Uh, what's the, what's his, his her, her name? Uh, Ozzy, I think. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's, yeah. So I just, I'm crashing on French couch. Nice. Where are you at right now? Uh, San Francisco. All over in East Bay at the moment. Um, cool, cool. Yep. Did you get a chance? Did you get a chance to contact the the um, about the RVs and the buses? Contact Norm. Mm, no, I'll do that today. I've been at this like seminar thing all weekend, which has been going like nine a.m. to ten p.m. every day. Okay. Wow. Wow. That's, that's yeah. Before. It's been really good. Really, really good. So much goodness coming out of it, like so many connections and everything being healed from the past. Yeah. Just clearing out so much stuff, which is just making so much more space for creating even more. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. This is so fun. Everything we're all doing, you know, it's just <laughs> together. Yeah. I love it. Just open source in the whole process. And one project left, you know, how can we how can we bring everybody in and bring all the resources in to, to that? You know. That's what we're working on. And like each, each project is just like a it's just like a fractaling outward of that one project. So we're like, okay, these are the best ways to get it done. These ones right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. I uh, have, a, have a new project that I'm wanting to start putting some energy towards. Because right now, Infinite 11 Motion is coming into creation. And I'm going to really focus on that for the summer. Uh, but I have two days left to apply for the Spiritual Ecology Fellowship, um, mm -hmm. which gives me a bunch of support and also like some like grant money to create a project. Uh, and what I want to apply for is creating what I'm calling Transform, um, which is a whole organization, but it really starts with creating a retreat called transform retreat which is like brings in all of these different modalities for transformation and just gives everybody like a one week like full deep immersion to just completely transform yourself and transform the planet wow awesome sounds awesome yeah. very cool well we're recording right now should i not share that part or, or should i share it no it's very shareable okay nothing terrible. cool cool yeah awesome that's amazing yeah that's yeah it. definitely yeah, i get to just go and just rapid fire writing and a bunch of stuff like a lot of my ideas are coming to a lot more fruition this weekend um another project i'm seeing coming up is this one's a little further out there and still coming to ideas but it's a software project and it has some base ideas like there's just an ocean of possibilities where it's like you can just put all these things in this giant ocean of possibilities and then you can go in the ocean of possibilities and grab out a possibility and plant a seed of creation and then you can proceed to water that seed of creation and watch it grow wow like, yeah right? it just allows all of these ideas and projects that are like floating around there yeah. to start really being able to take somebody's like that's totally my project and i can grab that project and start watering and turn it into like a full project. Very cool. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, it's like, and then we just use these, like, I got all these shows going, like just, my goal is just to, just to draw in all the highest level projects into one place, whether it be our shows, whether it be our Slack or, you know, our systems that go out. Just to keep that process going, bringing together all the leaders, all the movements, and um, towards the highest, what's the best way to get to be done um, sort of projects. And then it's just going to compound. Everything will just compound over and over and over, you know, as that grows and grows. Yes, 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 yes. 
I, I, you know, like the days of having to hold like a hundred are over, you know. Of how you do what? The days of having to hold a hundred different blueprints, you know, different, like, mm, like just yeah. bring them and just put them out to the world and just let those go because then you receive the next level blueprints. So then you get those out to the world and let it go and you receive the next level blueprints. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So many people are coming in who are already creating things or want to create these things. It's like, well, here are the projects and people are like, I'll do that, I'll do that, I'll do that. And then just everything blossoms. And this summer, it creates such a community built around like wanting to make all this stuff happen and having a purpose and past to make it happen. And then, like, everyone that's in the is like, man, I want to do all of that. Let's grab that and let's get a team together and create, get a team together and create, get a team together and create, and create, create. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're being creative right now. <laughs> you know, like how like Google, how Google, like they like all their workers, they like really beautify their spaces. They create all sorts of amenities. So it's easy for everybody to just settle into that and just like co-create, just share their ideas and like, manage them out, and like never have to leave the facilities. Their kids are taken care of. But all inclusive type of centers or, or whatnot. Like, good morning. hey, good morning, Elizabeth. Hey, I got to remind you when I saw this come out. Do you, yeah. I want to remind you of our little collaboration calls we had on Diamonds Network with the that turned into the permaculture tour. Remember? Yeah. Yep. And then when we hung up, we said, "Oh my God, this is the blueprint for the whole transformational tour." Now yeah. you're doing it. We're do, you're doing it. Oh cool. yeah. Actually, uh, Congratulations. Ja Jaga, Gabriel is actually leading the way with the tour. And Jaga, I haven't called you. I'm sorry. I've been stuck meditating. I can't do nothing else but that for a little bit. I don't know why, but I'll be calling you. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to it. I've been, I've been super busy this whole weekend anyway, so uh, it works out. And now I'm in a really clear space, so um, whenever you call, it's going to be absolutely perfect. Cool. I just woke up. <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, nine nine a.m. Pacific time. You know, uh, I usually sleep in also, so this is getting me up every morning at eight thirty. And yeah. <laughs> mm. but like, it's just I wake up and then I just like surrender to what's meant to come through. Um, with these shows, um, a lot of it is just like I, I just wake up and I write notes down real quick of what I, you know, because it's just I want to be open source and co creative and I don't want to just be like, here's what it is, it's going to be like this. Like, no, you know, I just want to set the space for magic. Hey, Misty. You have to unmute your, your thing. Huh. Or I'll this, unmute, I'll unmute you. There there you go. This first yeah. call, this first call is going to show you who the serious ones are. So yeah. far, it's us three. Yay! Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Misty. See you, Dar. Homegrown. Yeah, it's like the first calls, the first show of any of these shows has been like the leader. The leader or leaders, the project manager types, the ones that want to do that, show up on the first call, and like it's it's usually a lot of brainstorming, and then we're like, okay, like what we're we gonna do, and, you know. Um, we I gave a suggestion, Doran. Yeah. Maybe if on Monday calls that you send out this, all this, what you just did with the link and all that, at like uh -huh. late afternoon on Sunday. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I did. I actually shared it. Uh, I'm going to be sharing every single show on the Awakening Sovereignty Collective's um, Slack chat. Uh, and they have 300 the powerful creators uh, that have org big organizations and whatnot. A lot of them, do. and um, so a lot of the people showing up are source leaders and our ASC leaders. And then all the promoting, I'm putting it out to the social media. People will start coming in. More and more. Yeah. Make sure you invite them within the show, like a little commercial. 
Yeah. You mentioned, yeah. mentioned Slack chat and a few others and anybody watching this, okay. you're all welcome to come. Yeah, even to listen in and give ideas because I'm like, I'm telling you, I get downloads of, I'm like a Joseph nowadays. It's solutions. Yeah. And I, I, had, I had an idea for you to make this even go maximum efficiency, minimum effort. Yeah. Like for instance, today, two, two minutes each will fill out the hour. But like next week, um, maybe one minute each for their blueprint and then one minute of a solution of the a solution of they see if any everybody else talking a solution for them or a solution that they come out with or an idea you know so we can really jack up the spice of the shikana drunken glory <laughs> yeah. yeah i just figured the two minutes is is uh one thing it does is it, it each person gets a chance to present and then we come back around again. We do a presentation. Or we can get to know each other. We can reach all sorts of things can happen. Um, we can start project management right there live on the show. Uh, just setting the space for to to get all the presenters on the show and presenting and getting really good at that that elevator pitch and short and sweet and succinct and to the point and and um, then like you know as we. As we find those superstar projects, we're going to want like the next wave. We want to see them further down the line and see them in a, a full presentation, maybe five minutes or something. I don't know. It's just it's all just ideas and open to discussion. So. Sounds great. I'm glad that you're um, able to envision all of this because uh, when I started to, it just gets a bit overwhelming, but it sounds like you've got got it down here so it sounds good to me yeah um, another thing is um, that I got you guys on here um, with diamonds network I kind of want to like what we were talking about Elizabeth I kind of want to step into that that zoom role step into the YouTube role step into the promoting role um, because I'm starting all these shows I can like create a zoom uh, for every single diamond show. And then I could kind of like, uh, basically I would create the Zoom, I'd show up, but you guys would all host the show, you'd host the whole network. Um, and then I would upload a video after and then I'd promote it. So I'd promote it before the show, like a lot, and then I'd promote it after the show a lot because I'm able to like manage that process. Um, so, yeah, you'll be the producer, like all the yeah. equipment person and what you do best. Well, that yeah. would be awesome. Are you serious? Wow. Yeah, That's now, a start. Now I've got these seven shows on this one schedule, and then I'll add your five, six, seven shows, and then that doubles our schedule. And then I'll add the American Conversation shows because I'm co-producing over there. So That's like 20, 50, 100 more shows. And we'll just like create this one schedule for all media by just contacting all the different media people and organizations. And anybody that wants to do a live stream can have their own show. Anybody that has a humanitarian project can have their own show, um, project management. This, all we're doing is creating one schedule and shining the light on all of it when it happens. I watched a documentary last night because I'm studying how TV started, and I watched one about Coca-Cola. We're going to do a Coca-Cola with Diamonds Network. Coca-Cola is a part of all the world's life. I mean, remember all those commercials? Uh, and we're going to, Diamonds Broadcasting Network, and what TV really started out for was people wanted to watch everything going on live. So Diamonds Broadcasting is going to bring out all the live transformational stuff, all the live stuff, going into a community home, do a day of that stuff. I mean, that's kind of my next thing. I don't know. So we'll see. Cool. All fun. It's all fun. So, uh, what do you guys want to do here? You want to, um, you want to, Gabriel, Aaron, uh, Jaga, uh, Jaga, Aaron, Gabriel, Loving. You want you do you want to go first, then like um, uh, Elizabeth will go second, Misty will go third, and we can all actually like present who we are, why we're here, what project. Um, starting with the first one, um, and what team is in place, or what team is being requested, what um, you know, what resources are in place, or what resources are being uh, requested. Just that that general statement to like bring that through, because we're going to have a lot of 
we're going to be able to cut these videos and send you your specific presentation, and you can continue to grow your presentation, grow the, we can all grow the project together. And every time we meet, we'll just keep moving forward, uh, you know, so. Misty can go second. Misty, you can go after Jay, I got love. I'll mm -hmm. go third. I don't mind going third. I got to get ready. You know me. Cool. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, then Doran goes second. I want to go last. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, I guess that's me. Uh, uh, cool. Right on. Uh, so um, I am I'm really here to be um, a mobile force of love, a mobile force of creation and connection. Uh, and how I am doing that is uh, through infinite love and emotion, uh, which is becoming a um, collaboration um, of many different people, many different organizations, all who are passionate about bringing the movement to the masses, bringing the movement all over, um, and really creating community. So we're doing with that is pulling together all these different forces um, that have these missions and uniting them as one unified mission so that we can move together as a unified force. Um, and going around the country, continue to grow this community that is mobile um, and can be everywhere. Um, connecting the other movements and bringing in movements that want to make a change and also creating movements via being a force to create movements of change. Um, so um, the core of how we're doing that right away is we're starting to pull together a overview of how we're doing it, what the overarching idea is, and putting together a sponsored document so we can start raising funds. Um, the aim is to do that by the end of this month. Uh, and the main thing that we are raising funds for in this moment is for the summer tour. So having multiple different tours, which are traveling two, really two primary tours are being seen, which is a West Coast tour that's going up and down the West Coast for the summer, and then an infinity loop tour, which is going to kind of go back and forth across the U.S. Um, and just bringing all that together, traveling together, and through the summer, creating this mobile community, creating this force of love and bring people from across the entire country truly into this movement and have various very major stops where we can go and get people in and have as like major gathering points. The primary one being the rainbow gathering in Oregon um, where we'll then have a bunch of forces which have already been gathered and we're able to go down there and come in there with so much purpose and bring in all of the people who are just at rainbow for whatever and we just continue to do this and just bring everybody in to really activate everybody to start living with purpose and to truly step into who they are and what they are doing in life. And once we have all of that, then we have this unified force of love that can just create anything. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. That was short and sweet. That was probably about a minute. That was great. Um, so maybe we all. Since, since that was a, great. That was great. We could ask just, questions now. Um, do you guys have questions? When's the Rainbow Gathering? Do you have the uh, date? July, July 1st through 7th in Oregon. Did you say July 1st through 7th? Yes. And it's other no other notable ones we reported New York but I'm gonna be along uh point Joshua Tree, May fifth through eighth. Um and then we're gonna there's like a message crap in the air in the West Coast. Um as well as Tribal Vision Festival for the second half of May in Colorado. Uh, on the West Coast, uh, and then luckily going back and forth again through the month of June. Uh, to go and bring everybody to Rainbow Gathering at the beginning of July. Doran, did you hear all of that? I could. Uh, he was cutting out for me. I don't know if it was for you. Yeah, it was cutting out a little bit. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Travis is. The microphones. Everyone say hi to I Travis. Hello. Mm, We're gonna get that information from you again. Yeah. Gabe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, but we don't have to. Right now. Maybe we can get it in print. Definitely, definitely. The, the only important, really important part is the launching point of, of May 5th through 8th in Joshua Tree at Portal to the New Earth. Um, uh, a Summer of Love 50th anniversary concert in San Francisco, which is for June 4th. 
and the name rather than by first or seventh. Oh, that sounds great. I want to be involved in all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. Yeah. We do, and I have the opportunity to, so I want to be in touch. Help yeah. me, Dorn. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Gabe. And like, yeah, thank you. We have uh, regular meetings. Um, I actually, the, the, our call on um, Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. for this, this tour, first and foremost. Um, uh -huh. and the West Coast tour has kind of been merged in with it. So it's a West Coast and cross country loop sort of tour. Um, yeah. So basically, and then there's going to be multiple meetings every week. So, um, and if you, if Aaron, if Aaron wants them to be like shows also, we can, every single one can be a show and we can upload them and, and keep them going. So there's already a couple of videos on my wall that say transformational tours. So you can tune in to the whole planning process and then be ready for the next meeting. Which, uh, Jaga, when's the next meeting? He's muted. Find Jaga on Messenger, too. Uh, um, we were talking about a meeting later today. Um, Travis, I think you were saying, talking about uh, scheduling for later today. So yeah, I'm thinking um, I'm, I'm actually glad to get on an interview right now. I wanted to tune in for a moment. But, um, but yes, yeah, so I'm thinking like 222. Mountain time, I think that's 122 year time or uh, Pacific time. So let's shoot for 122 Pacific time and we'll make it do what it do. Sweet, sweet. And everybody is welcome, anybody who wishes to be involved. Let's sure. make sure we read that out to everybody who was at the meeting um, on uh, Saturday. Uh, and yeah, just spread it out to whoever anybody thinks um, would be valuable contributor to that. Thank you. Indeed. So um, that was perfect. Anybody have any other questions, or you want to get you guys want to continue to the next? I'm okay. I, I know I could have questions all day long, but <laughs> we'll, we'll save them. We'll we could save them for the uh, since we got like five or six people here now. We got just Alex. Alex Dot Roland just showed up. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm good, thanks. <clears throat> How did you hear about this uh, this show, this call? Um, I guess I've known Adam Apollo for 10 years or so, um, but uh, I've been out of the country and I just finished building the, the platform that I've been working on since then. I'm in Bali, so we've been doing prototyping and development for uh, about seven years here, but it's done and it's ready now. It's at geotourism.center on the web. And uh, I ran across ASC through somebody's link, and um, I'm pretty tired of the, uh, the academic groups that I was, you know, I, I had to listen to people before I built something. You know, I went out and I collected information, and I found out what everybody thought should be built, but uh, those academic people are still not doing anything. So I finished it, and uh, now I'm out looking for doers, people who want to do things in their local community because we built something that people can use locally. Beautiful. I'm flying to Bali in one week. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Let's connect. Connect. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so the what we're doing so far is um, first just start out. Everybody just hang out first, got to know each other a little more, catching up with each other, and now we're just starting to do those like short and sweet two minute uh, presentation, count to the punch. You know who you are, why you're here, what project, um, what resources are in place, or what resources are being sought out, who the, le who the leadership team is, or what you're seeking out, uh, infrastructure in place. You know, just those that, that first level uh, presentation. We just started with Aaron, uh, Aaron Gabriel, uh, Jaga, uh, the uh, the infinite love in motion, bringing movement to movements uh by bringing them on tour all the movements that we all have on tour together up the coast across the country um and you can watch this video later if you want to see his presentation and the next presentation um elizabeth are you ready to go next or 
She wants to go last. Okay. <laughs> so I'll go. I'll just try to make it pretty short because I can really talk for a long time. Uh, so my name is Misty Fredericks, and I've been connected with the Diamonds for a little while. And, um, oh, gosh, over a year now. Anyway, so I'm still coming into really what my uh, mission is. I feel like it's to connect people to help connect people. That's the big um, thing for me somehow. Um, so that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I have a show on the Diamonds every other Thursday night. Um, and I'm uh, featuring kind of holistic health and healing, uh, including, you know, mental, physical, nutritional, all that stuff. So I just like to bring various guests on. I have had a lot of authors come on and uh, maybe people who might know a lot about nutrition and that kind of thing. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I think it's still developing, but my show is called Misty's Friends. So um, I'm excited about this, what's going on here. I like this. This is a lot easier, <laughs> actually. So um, I'm looking forward to this. Um, I don't know. What else can I tell you, Dorn? Or say? Um, well, Misty Friends, maybe, maybe let's just say that um, in the next week or so, you're live on here on, um, mm -hmm. on Misty's Friends. You have Zoom set up, and there's, all your friends are right here in the chat. Um, so mm -hmm. just like... What you know? What does that look like? What are you looking for for that show to to grow and become what you want it to be? MLMs, Misty, and well, Dorian hook you up with that. Them, your vision of that. Well, sure. I mean, the what I had thought is I really wanted to bring on um, different people who who do have MLMs or a product, a service, or something that they offer that want to share it, um, and I want to invite them to to come on our call to possibly share their product, but give us an opportunity. Maybe one of us would want to try it or whatnot and, and, you know, then give our stamp of approval or not on it and then offer it. Maybe the diamonds could sign up as a distributor for it. And, and that's it. You know, we just kind of, kind of test your product, find out about it, decide, you know, and, and that's all. And then we can help you and you can help us if, you know, and I figure we'll have, you know, instead of, so television has the um, advertising, paid advertising and stuff. I figure when we have guests on our shows or whatnot, we can just add them to things that we recommend for people. Everybody has a different path. Everybody has different things that are they're drawn to. There's not just one thing, you know, and, and anyway, that's kind of my vision for that. So, and I, I'm just looking forward to it expanding. I'm very glad that we're connected <laughs> and um, you guys are all great. It's just really nice meeting you. Well, would, would anybody here like to be a guest on Misty's Friends in the next uh, couple weeks? Yeah, my next show is not this Thursday, but the one after. And it's at 5.30 um, Pacific time. I, I see Misty's show turning into like a, you know, like the, uh, the things on TV that where you go shopping for jewelry or you go shopping for whatever people order things over the internet a lot nowadays. And mm -hmm. so instead of having commercials all over the place, we'll have one show with MLMs that are organic, healthy, whole products that are that way. And it's be one people just can click on that channel and, and and watch those shows and then also by the way coca-cola history misty when they first started doing commercials they didn't mm -hmm. do commercial spots they actually put in the product in a show a sh uh, like coke sponsored a, a show and in the mm -hmm. scenes of the show they would say hey drink a coke they were at a barbecue or something so we could do mm -hmm. something creative to that with all the other shows oh yeah that sounds yeah that sounds great that's that's a great idea. Yeah. Uh, they've got it going on. Uh, so, but the other thing too is not only with that though, but we could have people, you know, like um, who have services to offer, maybe who do certain healing work 
or techniques that they share and, and, you know, with people and teach people. I want to have every, you know, maybe there's books. I want us to be able to have the books and the links and everything to all the people who've been on the calls. And so, you know, that's kind of what I'm thinking, not just the MLMs. I want everybody to be able to um, join the diamonds, you know, in one way or another, and we can help them and they can help us. And, you know, just by being present and, and sharing their information and their light and all that. So. Awesome. Um, uh, our Tuesday call is the marketplace Tuesdays, 9 a.m. Pacific standard time. So I'm going to be bringing in a lot of people and, and product service and events. You can always come in there and connect with people and bring them over in. And we just do a lot of that between all our shows. Okay. So yeah. That'd be great. Anybody have any questions or comments, ideas for, for Misty, anything? And, and Doran could list, Doran, you should really, um, I, you probably are, you know, Doran's like the Craigslist of the new age. So you should, for people that people are already used to looking at Craigslist, you should format it like a Craigslist. Mm -hmm. And then Misty could have a tab on there with, you know, whatever, all the products, and you could just list them there at the, at the source Craigslist, too, or everything, you know? It's all happening. It's all happening. So awesome. Uh, anything else, or are we ready for the next? Oh. Uh, I just want to say one more thing. I'm also, what I am also very passionate about and what I'm trying to help um, bring more people together about is going to be issues regarding uh, domestic violence and healing and afterward and that kind of thing. Um, and I just want to throw that out there that I, I foresee uh, a lot unfolding with that over the next few months and stuff. And so... Anyway, awesome. Before, if you're interested in it, contact me. I'll share more. And uh, that's Misty Fredericks on Facebook. F R E D R I C K S. Misty. Fredericks. And also, you you contact me directly through my email. That might be good too, which is mistelinstar at gmail dot com, and that's M. I S T I L Y N S T A R at gmail.com. So cool. I'm going to, I'm going to share Misty. I'm going to share with you the, um, the, the team chat, the Slack team chat for the ASC. Um, a lot of these people here are on the ASC and we all meet over there and we, um, there's so much amazing stuff happening. So okay. um, you can join that okay. and connect in with all the leaders in there. And um, yeah, we're bringing it all together. Okay. Thank you, Doran. Thank you. Cool. Thank all you right. guys for being here. This is awesome. <laughs> Who's next? Where'd Elizabeth go? Okay, I'll go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So I am the founder of Diamonds Broadcasting Network. And hmm, Diamonds Broadcasting Network has a vision to outsource CNN, ABC, CBS, all those things, but not even, not limited to that. All media sources, but not limited to that to have a brand new, spanking new technology that is very exciting to the world. These are revolutionary times. Uh, there's a quantum physics article I read like four years ago. And we're, you know guys, you've experienced it yourself, time's going fast. So we're, gonna, we're going into a period of time where like the industrial revolution happened over what? just say 10 years well industrial revolution is going to happen over two weeks one week i don't know how it's all going to look but all i can say is diamonds broadcasting network needs you and i need you guys i need you and you need me because their diamonds is the ones that are going to be broadcasting all of your stuff live now um so i already have shows going and now we're gonna uptick with Zoom and 
uh, we have a producer for the shows, but I don't want to just do shows. I want to do live action, uh, boots on the ground for all the good news coming out, which will start with all of these, this, these groups I'm in, we're involved in and all that to bring that live. So where to start? That's what I've been racking my brain and heart. Where do I start to build a network? like ABC, CBS, CNN, where did they start? And what do they need to begin with? What do I need? I need somebody with the know-how and the power. I've done media, I've worked in uh, the producer's room in a, in a public access TV stuff. So I need equipment. Where do we start? That's the question I wanna ask you. Where do you guys, where, where do I start? Do I need to find a partner? that knows all this, that's an expert in producing or that's an expert in overall media? This is the question I wanna to propose to you guys. Help me, <laughs> where do I start? Where do I start with that aspect of bringing news live, bringing the activations live? And then I envision Diamonds Broadcasting Network as a golden age a network and it'll be in everybody's home and around the world and kind of like Coca-Cola, but so I envision as I get the crew together, it's going to be a big work crew for camera, producers, editors, whatever, announcers. Um, as, they, as I hire them, as we get hire them, guess what? They're going to take, I, I'll hire them knowing that they're not going to start working for Diamonds Broadcasting Network for at least two months. Because when I hire them, um, my vision is to send them off to Kauai to our be well for, for a month to be at our be well, their be well for one month so they can be well and have a vacation before they start working and get in that uh, oneness mode and unity mode and being well mode for um, Haley Don Armstrong's. And that's what, it, so anyway, my question to you guys is where do I start with, you know, the live part. Anybody have any ideas that I can, that can boost start me? Anybody? Uh, well, my idea was that I was, when I can get down there, I wanted to spend a lot of time with you down there. And um, personally, I, if you don't have an actual partner right now, I want to partner with you, Elizabeth. Let's start it. You and me. Think about it. Okay? So I want to be your first partner if you don't already have one. Um, but anyway, that's my only input. I was, I just, I feel like I'm in a position where I need an assistant, but I could make a really good assistant for somebody else, maybe even producer kind of thing. Uh, but it just, all I can do is whatever I can do. So I'm willing to come down and learn what you're doing and help you with some shows, help you with whatever. So I'm willing to be your first assistant. It just won't happen until April. So it'll be good timing. I don't know Thank what you think. You. Thank you, Misty. But to you guys out there, come on, help me think. What is my first step in starting this? Do I need to find somebody that knows I want to start the live portion of the Diamonds Broadcasting Network. And where, I know it's in motion located? in the universe. Uh, where are you? California. 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 Uh, have you looked into the indie media network? Do you know who they are? No. Uh, so for, for a long time, indie media has existed. And I think they ask a lot of the same questions you do. And they have <clears throat> like sort of like a nonprofit, like PBS sort of thing. It's, it's sort of like PBS, but it's for news. And they're called indie media. And you can look them up. And they're, they're in cities all over the world. And they teach how to do broadcast. They give access to equipment. They have access to radio stations in some cases. Stuff like that. It's an idea. See, yeah, I know about that. See, so when I, I know this is all divine vision and inspiration, but it all comes down to currency, doesn't it? But then if you have the money to get all the equipment, you got to have the people, right? Where do I go? What's my target group, guys? Yes, Gabriel. Uh, uh. 
highlighting what I'm seeing with that is really connecting the larger network. Um, so finding a lot of other um, conscious media sources and starting to work with them because I see a big collaboration um, between all these different broadcasting networks, different media networks, different sources for conscious, new age, love, change media um, popping up. Um, the one thing which I'm a big part of, which can play a big role in this, is One TV, which is working to like bring a lot of live streams and such, um, really carrying the One Love vibration. Uh, I'm involved with uh, and connected with Matt Dowell, who created the Coeo platform, and he's working on putting together the Conscious Media Coalition, which will help bring the coalition between all of these different Conscious Media sources. Um, we also have, like, a core storm with the Source Network and all these other ones um, that are popping up and we can work together to really figure out where all of those are and who all those are. Um, but once all those come together, then it just becomes a lot easier because the sharing, uh, it's like, cool, I'm doing that. And then this network shares that and all the other networks are sharing each other's stuff to help really minimize the amount of work that any one has to do, but maximize the outreach. So that's kind of cool that one. Yeah. Thank you for that. I was thinking just, um, if if you could just come on the um, these tour planning calls that Aaron and myself are both leading, and all of us are uh, coming together already with a plan to to travel together up the coast, across the country, and back, and whatnot, and and um, you know, really anybody that has an iPhone or a camera can broadcast any all this magic that's happening when we travel and we bring the solutions to the people we bring the community together we you know like broadcast that to the world and like we all have skill sets that we can apply uh and we're all together traveling so we can just kind of like boost each other's mission together with their with each other's skill sets um so just keeping it simple and building the brand getting the brand the logo out there getting uh adding more shows just continuing to bring on guests and then create more shows. Uh, and then they're like, you know, invite them to have their own show on your network and then bring them to, you know, I'll set up the new shows on Zoom every time you get a new show and uh, I'll upload them on YouTube every time and promote them every time and, and just keep that cycle of creating new shows, um, uh, bringing on guests, bringing on hosts, and then like jo joining these projects like this one right here, uh, this tour, like just, it's going to be like action packed. Like everybody in the world is going to want to see it and you can have a, your phone or camera there. And then you can actually say anybody that wants to come on the tour, come be with us. I, I've got the plan for the media part of it. You just be on my team and I'll make sure you have a camera, make sure you have your protocols, make sure, and then just go and just get, get good footage and you guys spread out and just get all the footage of anything happening um on the tour you know oh that's a good start good thank you mm -hmm. yeah that's where to start i guess i'm a little ahead of myself but i got big visions hey right yeah okay the money will flow in uh you know monetizing that'll be that'll be one of the next steps too oh and i want to encourage everybody uh, misty's been on this venture you guys that are on here and anybody listening Take your project, take your dream, and write it down again. Write the vision down, write your mission down. Take a day, take four, four hours or so just to write the mission and write the vision down. Make it plain. And as you do that, I mean, I kid you not, after I did that like a month ago, I got some so many ideas and initiated some. Uh, so write your mission and vision down because it's changed it. Like everything's changing really fast, time's going fast, and uh, you'll get your next step and make that plain. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. All right. So, Thank uh, you. Who's next? Alex? Just know there's a there's Hi, Alex. Oh, I'm yeah. here. What are, what are we doing again? It's a two minute intro. Is that what you said, Dorn? Hang on a second. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna create another Zoom and I'm gonna share it in the links here. Uh, hang on. I'm gonna hurry. I'm gonna hurry. One minute. Uh, find me on Facebook. Uh, message me on Facebook. 
if you won't get Lincoln time. My name is D-O-R-O-N-A-U-T-A-S-H. We're all posted in the Slack. Ah, I'm not getting there quick enough. Do, 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 do. All right. Meeting my. Second. Well, reason I can show you all.